but it's Wednesday, so we do overrated, underrated. Hit the music. Uh, yes, overrated, underrated, or on the off chance, it is perfectly rated. Uh, like, example, wearing golf attire every day. No I, one does that here. No. Except for Reach and Ben. <laughs> <laughs> I've Even just, golf shoes. I've I've reached that stage where I'm just like, you know what? Golf shirt and pants, fine. Great. I don't care if I look like I just got in from the course. It's uh it's comfortable. I it's, did just uh, get in from the course. It's you do. business casual, I guess you could say. But but like Ben totally is like, fine with it. Ben is like it's his profession almost. Like he has well, he has yes, two professions. Much. One is one is radio producer slash host, and the other one is uh golfer. training to be a uh professional golfer. Yeah. Be on the tour. So I got to do what I got to do. That's it. Got to yeah. wear the uniform to the other job. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to bring to you. Can't, how many changes of clothes can you bring? Reach is just trying to manifest being a golfer. Yes. I just, I, I, I just <laughs> like the vibe of it, you know? Yeah. Get you in the, in the headspace. Like, cause it's, it's like, uh, it's like going to the airport, right? You, so, you, when you, when you know you're going to the airport, you're like, man, this is exciting. I'm going somewhere new. When I put on golf clothes, I'm like, I know I'm not going golfing today, but like, at least I can feel like I'm going golf. Is it kind of like being a method actor <laughs> where you're like, I was going to act, but play the part. And when, and then when I have to get out there, like I'll, I'll just feel, feel natural. Yes. I definitely thought you just meant like going to the airport is exciting. <laughs> no. Like you're excited to just go to the airport. And then I do, figured do it people out. do that. Just go to the airport. Just watch people I arrive. Not. It's like that TV show. Like, what was that weird TV show concept? Just like showing people at the airport. Like there's a lot of emotional moments at an airport. Yes, I get that. I don't know if I need a TV show about it. If you go to arrivals and just sit there, you'll probably see a lot of emotional (laughs) moments. But you can also see like people who are like not as happy to see each other. (laughs) Side hug. (laughs) Yeah, it's like, hey. Yeah, I missed you. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Anyway. All right. Submission. Anyways, golf attire, underrated. Austin and Langley. The Canucks making it out of the first round with their current play. Overrated or underrated? Uh, underrated still because I think I mean the overall sentiment on our feedback channels whether it's on social media whether it's on the text inbox has been they're not getting out of the first round yes I'm not saying all fans feel that way but from what I've seen interaction wise the majority has been like they're not going to get this done so I think them actually winning in the first round is underrated because I think people are overrating uh, how bad things are right now they can still beat Nashville or LA playing the way they have in the last little while here. Um, if it were to be another appointment opponent, say the Vegas Golden Knights, yeah, you're not beating Vegas uh, if you're if you're playing like this. But I, people are not not that the Canucks have been great lately. They obviously have not. Oh four and one against. Uh, future playoff teams in their last five in those types of opponents. But last night was an outlier compared to a lot of their other games where their defensive play crumbled. They haven't been able to score as much as you'd like to see them score lately. That's for sure. A bit of a concern going into the postseason. But last night still was an outlier compared to the overall picture of what this team has played and put on paper in recent weeks. Yeah, it has been, but it was also a confirmation bias for all your fears and concerns. Yes. So if, if you were looking at their trend and saying, I'm unconvinced, because as much as they haven't been horrible, they also haven't, haven't been as convincing as people want. And, you know, trying to extra- extrapolate that unconvincing stretch of hockey to they're doomed. And then they had an absolute stinker against Vegas, it was probably a lot of evidence that that supported your 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 feelings already, right? I'm just not there. Like I mentioned last night, people got mad. People were like, Waleed was, was texting in and saying, I can't believe how positive you are, Seth. I'm like, I'm not positive. I'm just saying they're not doomed. I guess that goes for positive nowadays. How dare you? How <laughs> dare you? Next one comes from uh, Mighty Quinn, the Canucks defensive play since the All-Star break. Overrated or underrated? Underrated. Yeah. Still underrated based on the sentiment around the team. Yeah. Like throw last night out and you're looking at one of the surefire better teams defensively since the all-star break in the entire national hockey league. Yeah. I mean, before Demko. So before last night in the games that Demko had been out, they were allowing just over two goals a game with their backup goalie in net. You know, 
You're telling me that's a bad defensive team? It's not like Casey DeSmith was standing on his head every night. He was doing the job he had to do. We just had Kevin Woodley on saying exactly Mm -hmm. that. Yeah, he wasn't standing on his head. He wasn't going above expected, but he was doing what the Canucks asked of him to do. And he was able to do that. And in that stretch, the Canucks were giving up 2.11 goals against per game. It's a nine-game stretch, not a huge sample. But you're telling me in a nine-game stretch with your backup netminder, you're the second-best defensive team by goals against in the entire National Hockey League? Give me a break. Like, they're still an elite defensive team when they're going well. And five-on-five, they've been one of the best defensive teams in the NHL. I mean, all season, obviously, but also the final 25. And as you spoke to Kevin Woodley, generally speaking, outside of last night, they weren't giving up a ton of rush chances and great A's. And obviously, you know, gave up way too many of them last night. Next one comes from Mattitude. Ian Cole's recent play. Overrated or underrated? Hmm. Well, I mean, he, he hasn't been good recently. He's had some struggles. There's no doubt. Um. Am, am, I, am I worried that Ian Cole can't figure it out in the playoffs? No, I think you'll see a better player once the postseason comes around. But yes, he's struggled. So Ian Cole has been poor lately. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Has anybody been overrating his play lately? I think everybody's seen that his play has taken a bit of a dip in the last little while. I call him the unsung hero, but that's a season award. Like every single player on this team has gone through ups and downs. I mean, maybe Quinn Hughes and JT Miller. That's not about recency bias. But I mean, I'm going on a totality of the season. (laughs) To me, he's, you know, unsung hero. Recently, he's been, it's kind of like Connor Hellebuck, picking a bad time to be bad. You know, <laughs> picking a bad time to be bad. Yes. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Like for my narrative, bad for my narrative, really. Definitely bad for your narrative. <laughs> all uh, we should worry about is Sats narrative. That's all I care about. So it's <laughs> it's not, I, I think Ian Cole's recent play has been perfectly rated. Nobody's overrating it. We all can see that he's not having as good a time as he was early in the season, not having as much of an impact as he was early in the season, but also nobody's underrating it. So it's, it's perfectly rated. We see what's happening. We're kind of worried about it, but uh, he should still be the wily vet the Canucks need in the postseason. So the last uh, 10 games, yeah, Ian Cole. Actually, the last eight games Ian Cole has played, he's been on the ice for five goals against. Not great. But also been on the ice for six goals for. So okay. his goal differential is plus one through those eight games. You'll take that. Like I said, he hasn't been great, but he hasn't been as bad as people make him out to be. Yeah, but what is it against the the good teams, and what is it against the bad teams? Sad. <laughs> what 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 when it, there's a full moon <laughs> in spring? What about that? Mercury is in retrograde now, by oh, the way. Right. So, oh, my prob- wife has told me. Yes, <laughs> probably why the Canucks lost. <laughs> the reason everything is going wrong in the world is because Merc- Mercury is in retrograde. When does it uh, stop retrograde? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even sure what, what retrograde Hopefully sooner is. Sooner rather than later. Yeah. I'm the science guy. I'm like, what is what is even. Mercury and retrograde. You don't even know mean. this. I have no idea. You've never no. heard about this. Mercury and I've retrograde. I've heard about. It. I don't know what it means. I okay. haven't found. I haven't been interested enough to look into it because I don't know if it matters. Science sat. You're letting me down right That's now. That's more astrology BS. Like when the stars align, certain things happen. It's like you know. Isn't it something like uh, Mercury starts turning the other way or something like that? I don't know. I mean, it, it becomes like mythology at some point. <laughs> Those things are mythology to me, not real science. Like if you're trying to extrapolate like how people are behaving based on the alignment of the stars, like. Come on, bro. No, you know, like... Oh, you lose uh, me there. <laughs> <laughs> I took the car in for service on uh, on Monday, right? It's supposed to be just like the regular annual service, next thing you know. And by the way, Monday just happened to be the first day that Mercury was in retrograde. Next thing you know, <laughs> brakes need to be done on the car, of course. Uh, it's because Mercury's in retrograde. Classic. Not because the not because the brakes went kaput. It's because so, Mercury's in retrograde. So it affected the Canucks last night, but helped the Vegas Golden Knights? <laughs> yes. How does yeah. it work? I mean, depends on your uh, definition of who is it in retrograde for. <laughs> evil thrives in retrograde, <laughs> like the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, 